Can you hear me now? <laughs> My uh, association with the Professor uh, Salam started in 1968 when I first uh, visited uh, uh, ICTP in Tuyet. And uh, I, uh, I became a regular visitor for the next three years. And uh, we even talked about uh, my uh, uh, staying there for a permanent basis. But uh, all of a sudden in 1970, I got a very compulsory, compulsory offer from uh, somewhere in Japan. So, and uh, I had to come back to Japan. Uh, looking back, uh, uh, occasionally I think of uh, my life, how my life could have been different when I <coughs> stayed in Italy. <laughs> uh, probably I could have stayed as a pure, <laughs> pure theorist, but unfortunately, or well, fortunately, it turned out uh, that was not the case. But uh, my life is life. I can't repeat it again. <laughs> Uh, this is how I lived my life. Well, uh, I, uh, my talk will be on uh, high energy physics, past, present, and future. It's a huge title, <laughs> but <laughs> nevertheless, uh, I will try my best to present my, my way of thinking uh, how this uh, topic uh, 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 appeals to me. Uh, Okay. Uh, of course, uh, when you talk about uh, your future of uh, uh, physics, high uh, energy physics, well, you have to talk about uh, 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 quantum gravity, uh, supersymmetry, and so forth. Now, how uh, I should present this, uh, I thought about it, and uh, maybe I can talk about those uh, topics by just talking about uh, physical constant. Uh, of course, uh, uh, dimensional physical constants include, uh, uh, fundamental constants include the speed of light C, H, and G. Then uh, I can talk about the quantum theory and I can talk about the gravity. So, uh, I'll just talk about uh, future, or present and future of uh, uh, physical constants. And, uh, Especially, uh, you want to concentrate on the combination of these constants, especially what we call Planck length. My uh, 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 conclusion will be a little bit uh, uh, provocative. I uh, claim that uh, uh, Planck constant doesn't exist. <laughs> now then, of course, uh, if you want to talk about high energy physics, you can't just talk about uh, theory. So I'll uh, switch to uh, uh, experimental uh, high energy physics as the next topic. And uh, f I start from uh, uh, the history of uh, SSC. Uh, this uh, VBA means very big accelerator was uh, conceived at uh, uh, early 1980s and subsequent uh, uh, incidents are all related to this uh, very big accelerator. I will uh, touch on the failure of SSC and uh, I'll skip relation between LHC and the uh, subtle uh, issue uh, related to SSC versus uh, LHC. Then I will just go directly into uh, the current status of ILC. After the failure of SSC, how we proceeded with LHC, ILC? That's the sort of present status. Then I'll go to the future. I'll compare SPPC, this is a Chinese uh, uh, huge uh, uh, 
proton accelerated project, SCC, HC, this is CERN project. I will try to compare this with the SSC. Uh, then I will compare uh, electron machine, uh, Chinese uh, CEPC, LH, the uh, CERN FCC with ILC. These are natural uh, comparisons. Then uh, maybe I can make some uh, uh, advice, but uh, maybe I'll uh, make this advice uh, at the uh, uh, panel discussion this afternoon. So, uh, velocity of light. Uh, everybody knows the Maxwell's equation, if you are the physicist. Uh, in the, uh, uh, you see there is one place where, uh, where you have an explicit velocity of light appearing. How do, how do I use this? Ah, yeah. Oh, uh, sure, sure. No, no. Huh? <laughs> I did something wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, of course, you can eliminate this uh, C from the uh, uh, Maxwell equations uh, by just. Uh, uh, what's the pointer? This one? When I pushed it, it did it just it dis disappear. This is the one. Uh, okay. Okay. Huh? 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 No, this is the one. Yeah. Well, of course, uh, you just uh, uh, re rewrite uh, uh, dt here and b here uh, this way. You by just re re redefine the dynamical variables, you can totally eliminate the c uh, from Maxwell equation. So something uh, I didn't want to eliminate this, but anyway. We can also eliminate C from a relativity modified Newton's equation by using a proper time. As everybody know when the gravity is included, C is sort of absorbed in the metric, G00. Thus, uh, C is completely eliminated from the theory. Explicit uh, appearance is, uh, doesn't happen. Of course, C is just a vacuum value uh, of the velocity of light. It's a dynamical variable, in a way. Now, uh, how about the uh, uh, gravitational constant? Uh, the uh, uh, origin of a gravitational constant is from uh, uh, this uh, uh, Newton's uh, uh, gravitational force. Uh, this is in the form of potential. Uh, this is just a, a sort of uh, the uh, uh, transformation uh, constant of a mass square of R to the energy. But the meaning of the uh, gravitational constant was completely changed by uh, the following Einstein equation. Uh, on this side you have energy momentum, and the energy momentum is related to the curvature uh, of space-time. Therefore, it's not a transformation mass square of R to the uh, uh, energy, but the transformation factor of uh, energy to, uh, to, the, uh, uh, to the curvature. So, uh, it, but in general, it is not possible to absorb G completely from the, the, from the size the equation. Uh, of course, unless uh, if the, this is a bilinear, for example, of the fields or something, you can uh, absorb this. But usually, uh, uh, t mu is much more complicated. Uh, how about the Planck constant? Well, uh, yeah, originally it was uh, introduced uh, to uh, 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 write the uh, uh, energy of the photon in terms of the frequency. Uh, this was a, just the a transformation uh, uh, factor of uh, frequency and energy. Uh, but uh, Feynman, uh, passive integral, interprets this in a, a slightly different way. So, uh, you know this expression, and uh, uh, this uh, is the action, and uh, the, the, the sort of this gives the uh, unit 
of the action. Now question, is it possible to eliminate H uh, from, the, in, uh, from the theory? And uh, also the gra gra gravitational constant. Uh, these, uh, 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 this is the question. Uh, I don't want to write complicated equations, but uh, uh, at least uh, one equation, this is a regular QCD, uh, I mean QED equation. And uh, the Feynman integral is to put this uh, uh, on, on the uh, exponential. Uh, one of the H is here. Uh, by redefining the fields, uh, photon and uh, certain uh, charged particle, uh, we can absorb this H into uh, mass and E, charge and mass. Uh, this is the square root of mass uh, and so forth. Uh, this is the sort of uh, 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 wavelength index. But uh, here we cannot eliminate, uh, this, is, this must be H bar, H, but we can absorb it to other constants. This is one example. Now, uh, you don't have to look at it carefully. All I want to say is that uh, uh, this 11-dimensional uh, supergravity, which is sort of uh, regarded as the uh, uh, low energy uh, uh, theory of what we call M-theory. Uh, this is a rather complicated uh, region, but what we can prove is that uh, you can absorb H, uh, kappa uh, is, uh, is just replacing the gravitational constant. Uh, C, of course, it was only absorbed. You can absorb all H, kappa, C into the field variables by uh, refining, uh, redefining them. You can do that. You, you can believe it. Uh, there is a proof, uh, a simple proof in uh, a standard textbook on uh, uh, string theory, uh, green short written. Uh, they proved it for uh, H for 10 dimensional supergravity, but uh, you can do it for 11 dimensional one also. And you can, uh, this is a very simple uh, calculation. Uh, this means that there are no fundamental constants in low energy realization of string theory. One can show that this is true for the string theory itself. So all three fundamental cost constants are, in a way, dynamical. And this means probably, well, no, not probably, they are just vacuum value of something. You know, something which we call uh, moduli. Uh, never mind what it is. It's a so, sort of dynamical variable, and all that has an unfixed vacuum value. Now, so, to fix the value of H, G, C, all the constants, we need to understand the dynamics, dynamics of or dynamics in moduli space, which we still don't understand. So, we still don't understand how H, C, G are defined, calculated, or is that calculable? Well, if you say it's calculable, in terms of what? There is no fundamental constant. So, uh, you have to speculate uh, what, uh, what the consequence will be. Well, maybe you will have a solution in a multi-universe way, where maybe H, C, uh, uh, G are just uh, low energy, uh, realization of some dynamical variable and in the uh, uh, moduli. Uh, we still don't know. Therefore, in string theory, there is no Planck length. Now, experimentally, do we have Any evidence of uh, plant things? Well, that's my next question. You, uh, uh, you might think that uh, in the theory of early universe, 
There may be some uh, appearance of uh, uh, such short distance of the Planck scale. But uh, if you look at it carefully, it's just an artifact. Uh, the appearance of uh, uh, Planck's uh, length in uh, uh, inflation theory or, or uh, 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 regular sort of a, a big business theory comes in the, in this form. Uh, this is a, a well-known Hubble constant, and that is a, a, a density times the gravitational constant. And uh, uh, radiation dominance case, the uh, energy density of a photon is T4 over Hc to the Q. And this is the origin of, uh, of the Planck length. You can write uh, uh, this uh, like this one. And uh, this appearance of Planck length is just uh, gravity is uh, classical, but uh, since you write the uh, <coughs> a, uh, radiation energy uh, this way, that's the uh, origin of uh, Planck mass. So, it's a, uh, it's a, in a way, it's an artifact, and nevertheless, you, you use this. Now, in the inflation theory, it's a vacuum value of certain uh, potential, uh, certain field, which comes in instead of a, a, a radiation dominant density. In that case, the uh, vacuum value is, of course, has nothing to do with the uh, quantum theory, but nevertheless, it's customary to write the vacuum value in this way. And that's where you, you get the uh, uh, Planck length. Uh, this in the case, well, of course, inflation theory has nothing to do with the uh, uh, quantum theory. It's a purely classical gravity, purely uh, uh, classical uh, uh, vacuum value. So there is no uh, way uh, the Planck, Planck scale appears uh, unless uh, it's just an artifact. Well, so uh, uh, that's what I'm uh, saying here. There is no reason for uh, Planck scale to appear. And uh, in, even in inflation, there is no uh, uh, reason that uh, Planck scale appears. All we want in, uh, uh, in uh, uh, inflation theory uh, is that the slow, uh, uh, slow roll and uh, uh, these are the conditions for the potential. And the delta here has nothing to do with the uh, uh, Planck time. So there is no Planck length in the inflation model. There is no Planck length in the string inflation model where moduli dynamics are used. You know, there is a certain model where people talk about inflation based on the string theory. And since there is no uh, H, nor C, nor G, there is no way uh, we have a Planck length in the inflation model. Well, uh, the, uh, we heard from uh, 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 Dr. Professor Patti that there may be some indication of uh, short lines. Well, first by uh, this uh, 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 supersymmetric uh, 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 grand unified model may be uh, real. But it's so now it's so dubious, and uh, it, it's especially when proton decay is, is not what we want wanted from our ground unified theory. There is no indication of uh, even uh, the ground unified scale. But recently, there was a very interesting uh, sort of. Uh, uh, calculation based on the discovery of Higgs, uh, Higgs particle uh, in LHC. Uh, the small LHC, uh, the uh, Higgs mass, with a uh, uh, certain uh, uh, input calculation, show that uh, there may be some indication that uh, uh, Higgs potential, this is a 
uh, Higgs potential uh, constant lambda, it's, uh, it's decreasing at a very large scale. It may go to zero. This is uh, what we call flat potential here. But uh, the point is, if this is true, for example, this one is true, there's a certain uh, sort of uh, validity to uh, sort of claim uh, such a short distance. But uh, what I sh uh, sh want to point out is it's very much dependent on the uh, top cost mass. Well, if you have a top mass of 137, you get uh, about uh, 10 to the 12. And uh, if you have a uh, 131 uh, GB top mass, uh, this becomes a, a sort of flat potential at the Planck scale. Well, uh, this is a very interesting, extremely interesting sort of uh, result, whether we'll get uh, in, in, in such short distance from the Higgs potential itself. And uh, uh, there's a sort of fashionable uh, way to uh, study inflation using the uh, Higgs potential itself because it becomes very flat at the Planck scale. Uh, but it also implies another solution to hierarchy problem. Uh, this was uh, proposed by uh, uh, Will Berdine uh, 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 some time ago. But this is still very, very mysterious, uh, depending on uh, how uh, its potential behaves in a very high energy. So everything is uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, up in the air, and uh, we have to wait for very precise measurement of uh, top cork mass. Now, <laughs> how much time do I have? <laughs> huh? 15 minutes? Uh -huh. Okay, uh, now I switch to uh, uh, experimental physics. The uh, <coughs> I, I, I quote some, uh, some uh, statement from uh, ICFA uh, memo, and uh, this is the ICFA memo uh, from uh, uh, August uh, 1983. Uh, this is the time when SCC EU, uh, was uh, proposed uh, in the United States, and. Uh, this is at uh, uh, this memo is about a heap up meeting at uh, uh, a sub panel meeting at uh, Woods Hall. Uh, several speakers expressed their unhappiness that the recent US, US development had taken place without any previous discussion in ICFA uh, or sufficient consultation between the region and so forth. The uh, ICFA, the uh, International uh, Committee for Future Accelerator, was created about around that time to discuss the future of high energy physics, especially very big accelerator, VBA. And the United States went against this sort of uh, agreement, universal agreement. That's why uh, some people raise the uh, uh, unhappy, uh, uh, unhappiness uh, session. And uh, subsequently, next year, 1984, uh, well, the chair of the ICFA was uh, uh, Tregdy, and uh, <coughs> that, uh, uh, well, uh, ICFA was created to talk about the BBA, very big accelerator. But uh, because of this, uh, the U.S. behavior to go unilaterally to construct the SSC, this uh, ICFA uh, lost the function. Uh, so uh, the, uh, they, con they concluded that uh, the, uh, only in a very distant future uh, to uh, have a uh, constructive discussion. And, uh, but after a while, 
uh, it, it, uh, this is also a very uh, heated discussion uh, happened in the 1989 uh, 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 ICRA meeting. Uh, I personally uh, discussed this issue with uh, Professor Pondram. He uh, proposed to uh, uh, make uh, uh, all the very big accelerated uh, universal uh, global effort. But eventually, this proposal was rejected because of lots of heated discussion where Professor Calarubia attended. <laughs> anyway. Well, but uh, the uh, atmosphere changed gradually, and in, in, because for SSC, the uh, U.S. Congress decided that uh, to get the approval from the uh, government, SSC must go bro uh, go uh, go global, uh, global it must go international. So uh, the uh, the United States started to make a uh, big effort to uh, uh, persuade uh, other countries uh, to participate. Uh, around that time, we uh, uh, a lot of discussions uh, changed the atmosphere. And uh, Springsteen he was already the chair of the ICFA. And so uh, the statement, you, you see, it's very different now than the previous one. It was further recommends that the design of the use of future high energy facilities, uh, uh, including the profit and so forth and so forth. Now, so the, uh, the uh, unilateral SSC uh, proposal tried very hard to make it uh, international, but unfortunately, it was a little bit too late. And unfortunately, it was uh, it was killed, and the history ended for SSC. Now, uh, because of this uh, unhappy situation, INC project was started from the beginning, uh, the fully international project, and uh, under the guidance of ICFA. ICFA has been taking the initiative all the time. Uh, ICFA created ILCSC, the uh, Steering Committee uh, for International Linux Rider. We also created the FALC, the uh, Funding Agency for uh, Linux Rider, and uh, under ILCSC, we created the ITRP. This is the International uh, the Technology Recommendation Panel. I was one of the members, and uh, uh, these are the members, all these are perfectly international. And the uh, chair uh, was uh, 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 Barry Barish uh, from uh, uh, Caltech. Uh, I, I was one, one of the members, two theorists included, myself and uh, uh, Jonathan Bagger. And the accelerated uh, physicists, uh, experimenters, all involved. Uh, this is a picture taken. I think at the uh, uh, Korean meeting. Now, uh, th this, uh, this is a recommendation, and this was a choice made between uh, cold technology versus hot technology. Uh, uh, cold technology means superconducting cavities, and uh, uh, hot technology means uh, expand technology. And uh, the, the uh, KK and uh, uh, SWAC uh, were the, uh, the expand uh, technology uh, side and uh, uh, DAISY uh, is a uh, prominent uh, pusher of uh, uh, coal technology. And the recommendation to go, in to, to, go to the uh, uh, coal technology had a huge effect on the uh, uh, linear collider activities. Uh, Fuck, I had to stop the entire linear collider activities because they were 100% uh, expand. These continued, but uh, 
for some reason they had to switch to uh, APL uh, rather than the Linux writer. But technologically not very different. KK, uh, we have been uh, working on uh, one technology, but still we uh, made an effort to switch from uh, cold uh, from warm to cold. It was a very painstaking effort, but uh, we had some technology in cold uh, uh, the, in the superconducting cavities. Therefore, we could do it. Now. The, uh, after a long effort, the, uh, the effort uh, to materialize the linear collider uh, design uh, was finished in uh, uh, 2012, and I was invited to give a, a sort of uh, uh, speech at, uh, at this uh, ceremony. And I said, the congratulations to all involved in the, uh, the, the GD in is a global design effort. Uh, this was led by uh, Barry Barish. And after five years of hard work by an international team, they have completed their findings in two crucial reports, uh, IOC technical design report, uh, IOC detail baseline design report. So th this was a completely international global effort. And uh, uh, after this uh, uh, ceremony, we still have to continue uh, the, uh, uh, after uh, uh, Barry Barish, uh, Lynn uh, Evans uh, uh, took the initiative, uh, leadership. We have to continue the uh, R&D effort. We have to uh, uh, shape the collider uh, laboratory. Uh, determine the IOC site and so forth and so forth. And uh, to determine the IOC site, uh, Japan uh, volunteered uh, to take this initiative. Now, that's what the, that's the current status. Now, uh, I want to show you the letter from Eimer, uh, uh, Robert Eimer of CERN, in uh, uh, this was uh, June 18, 2004, because, well, uh, first, uh, I'll read this uh, red, uh, red part. You may be assured that CERN will do its best to help secure approval of a linear collider. First, by completing the LHC and extracting key physics information from it. And secondly, by striving to convince the world's political authorities of the importance of our common endeavor. I look forward to working together to ensure the continuing vitality of our field. This is the Robert Eimer, Director General at the time. Uh, this is a time for IOC to get all the politicians in the world to be get involved. In fact, next month, early next month, the Japanese uh, delegation of the politicians will go to Washington to see uh, their counterpart. I will be joining them. And I hope, because uh, Robert Eimer already promised that uh, they will work to convince the world political authorities that the IOC is the next step to go. Certainly, Japan will co uh, cooperate with the LHC for the next uh, big project of uh, uh, high luminosity uh, 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 LHC. Uh, we are already un unofficially asked to contribute to the insertion devices, upgrading of the detectors, and so forth. I will do my best, but I'm not uh, the director general anymore, but in my capacity, I will do it. But uh, uh, the agreement, uh, the effort should be mutual. It should be fair. So that's why I wanted to <laughs> show this uh, sort of private letter from the director of CERN at the time. Now, uh, time is running out, so... 
a, uh, uh, the, the rest of the uh, uh, my talk will be done at the time of uh, panel discussion this afternoon. Thank you.